I have been on Vim for almost 10 years now, since the first year of university for me, 2016. And during that time, I have used Vim. I have used Vim with additional plugins. I've used NeoVim. I've used NeoVim with the Primogen setup. And finally, after all these years of tweaking my configs, uploading my configs to GitHub, breaking my configs, fixing my configs, hoping somebody else will fix my configs, I've stopped worrying. Thanks to LazyVim and other NeoVim distributions. So we're gonna talk about one, why somebody would use a NeoVim distribution, what it is, and how to install my favorite ones in brackets. Let's get into this. First things first, let's talk about what a NeoVim distribution is. We all know and love NeoVim. If you're watching this video, that's why you're here. It's an incredibly powerful, the best text editor of all time. If you're an Emacs fan, I, 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 that's fine too, I guess. But NeoVim lets us have a keyboard-driven workflow while editing text. You don't have to drag your mouse around to get things. You can do all sorts of cool things, like there's a built-in explorer. This is NeoVim over here, just vanilla on the left side of the screen. And I can do so many powerful things with Vim alone. Like, check this out. I can create splits. I can spawn a terminal and do all stuff, all that kind of good stuff over here. I can compile and run code all from NeoVim. And this is vanilla NeoVim, not a single plugin. I can go file and check man pages and header files and all sorts of cool stuff from NeoVim. It's great, but it's 2025 and there are some creature comforts out there that I want access to. I want access to things like LSP, which tell me that, hey, I'm not, I'm not using string.h currently, or help autocomplete cool things for me, like includes. This is just some C code, by the way, uh, telling me what I could include, like standard lib, which is, you know, pretty useful if you're writing C code. All sorts of cool features like that I can install using Mason, different LSPs if I'm playing with different languages. I've got Clang D going right here and the Lua language server comes pre-configured. I can also get some nice GUI type stuff going on like this project drawer or directory explorer type guy and fuzzy finding file names, but also I can grep things right? Straight from Vim. It's kind of awesome. There's a lot of really cool functionality that people have piled on top of NeoVim itself, the greatest text editor in the world, to make it even better as something you can use full-time with an IDE-like experience without all of the extra craft and weight. Cool. NeoVim is awesome. And NeoVim plugins make it awesomer. But the problem is, you need a lot of plugins to get all the way here. Plugins build on top of other plugins, right? So I have LSP plugins, and then those LSP plugins can be managed by Mason, and Mason makes use of Fuzzy Find, and so I have to install Fuzzy Find, and if I want Fuzzy Find functionality, I also need to install Rip Grep on my computer, and then I need to, it goes on like that, pretty deep. Let me show you exactly how deep that goes. This, is my NeoVim config from probably two years ago. Last updated nine months ago when I finally learned how to stop worrying about my NeoVim config. There's a lot of files in here. A lot of files. A lot, a lot of files with a lot of stuff. And basically, every time NeoVim updates and every time a couple of plugins update, there's this chance, pretty big chance, I'm gonna have to go through and fix all this crap every single time. Now, don't get me wrong. It was fun to build this config up from scratch. And following the Primogen's tutorial here for building up NeoVim from zero to LSP was a fantastic experience for me. I had a ton of fun. I learned a lot about how NeoVim works and it gets you pretty much all of the way to what a lot of these NeoVim distributions do with a lot of very similar hotkeying too. These are NeoVim distributions packages of working NeoVim IDE experience ready to go with easy installation processes. And there are a lot of them. LazyVim is the one that comes with Omarchi, which I tried Omarchi. I'm recording this video on Omarchi. I am 100% sold on Omarchi. And I have a philosophy about defaults that we'll talk about another time. All this to say, Omarchi comes with LazyVim. And so I am switching off of Astro and Vim to LazyVim solely because it's the default option on Omarchi. That's how freaking awesome Omarchi is and how tied into my philosophy of use the defaults as much as possible, I am. LazyVim, phenomenal distribution. Astro and Vim, same kind of guy. And you can kind of tell, like this looks and feels very similar to this, doesn't it? Just, just by the screenshot. And if we look at NVChad, another one, but 
this time you get to be a Chad while you use it. So that's like a huge boon or huge weakness depending on how you swing. Look, showcasing very similar functionality. LSP, we're showcasing terminals which are built into NeoVim, so I don't know why we always showcase those. We've got, we've got this project drawer guy. We've got buffers along the top, not tabs. NeoVim buffers and tabs are different from VS Code tabs, all right? LunarVim, same freaking guy. <laughs> My NeoVim config, which is really the Primogen's NeoVim config, same guy. Slight changes to the hotkeys and what plugins are installed, but LSP comes out of the box. There's a way to add some more plugins fairly easily. It gets you up and running quickly. Most of them use Mason. Most of them have Fuzzy Find with Telescope and all of these guys to give you a great experience. Pretty much exactly the same. So it really doesn't matter which one you choose, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install Lazy Vim in particular because that's the one I'm migrating to off of Astro and Vim because it comes with Omarchi. So you're convinced, NeoVim distributions save you time, effort, and pain, and so we want to use one. But how much work might that be, Nathan? I don't know. It's not a lot of work at all. Let's assume you're on Linux on macOS because you're not a Windows user. Or if you are a Windows user, use, use WSL. Or as my dad calls it, Weasel, which is definitely the proper way to pronounce it. It's so much better. If you already have a NeoVim config, go ahead and back it up. You just copy paste this in your shell. Boom. Done. Easy. Then you clone the starter. You just need to copy and paste this. I over here have a new user I'm calling LazyVim test with no NeoVim, right? It's just NeoVim installed, but no config. So we're going to get clone. Boom, done, it's there. And then we're gonna copy this and remove the .git folder. Why? Because I don't wanna track what LazyVim is up to. I just want my config as it is this way. Boom, gone, easy. And then look at this, <laughs> I'm gonna copy paste that and Vim and it installs. I think that was like a minute, less than a minute, 30 seconds. I'm gonna close that. We're gonna go find file with F. We're gonna open main.c, boom. And just like that, we have lazy vim, our neo vim distribution. If we want specific LSP, we can use Mason for that. All right, so right now we it, this is coming with the Lua language server. I need Clang for C. So I'm gonna go search Clang, hit I for install, boom, and it's ready to go, Clang D. So I'm gonna close this, open it back up again. I probably didn't need to do that, but just like that, we've got our stuff. And it comes with like nice little, nice little shortcuts. What do they call those? Snippets, yeah snippets and so standard lib and it's giving me all sorts of useful stuff i can do like if i want to do some printf action it's given me all the usual jazz i can hit enter clang is telling me hey expected expression okay thanks clang we're gonna say thank you lazy vim so there are a few things i don't like about lazy vim right specifically i don't like this thing this thing over here with the command line up top because it retrains or conflicts with existing muscle memory. If I look at like a default vim, right? I was playing around with game scope. When I hit colon for a command, it happens in the bottom left corner of the editor, right? We can see that down there. I type in SP, I get a split, lovely. If I do that over here in lazy vim, it happens up at the top, happens up at the top. Why? It doesn't improve the experience, right? It overwrites a default that I don't like, right? I want that default because when I go use Vim on some server I'm SSHing into, I don't wanna look up whenever I go to colon enter a command. I want that same muscle memory across the board. So we're gonna reconfigure that. So leader F C to look at my config, right? The existing config. So I can go looking for the specific plugin that is causing me this pain. Here we see noise, noise. <laughs> is the culprit here. Highly experimental plugin that completely replaces the UI for messages, command line, and the pop-up menu. Now, don't get me wrong, I think this is cool. And I think if you like this, leave it in. I don't, again, because of that retraining of muscle memory. And so we're just gonna go through and disable it. So again, we're gonna hit space FC, which brings up our config. And then we're gonna take a look at this example file. Now at the beginning, it's commented out essentially, if true, then return nothing, end. Yeah, we don't, oops, that's not how that works in Lua. We're gonna comment that out because we actually want some of these changes. Now, 
which changes do we want? Basically, I don't want any of that. <laughs> what I really want, so I just commented it out, is to disable noise. So what's the syntax for that? Probably one of these. And then I'm gonna go, so we're gonna do this guy, and then we're gonna do noise.envim, and we're just gonna say enabled equals false. Cool. Enabled equals false. Boom. So now we've got this all set up. We're gonna do a WQ all to close up NeoVim. We're gonna pop it back open, go to main, hit colon, and there you go. It's right back where I want it. I can still do tab to see my options. So I can still tab complete things, which is cool. I can do F C and it's still showing me all of these commands over here. I keep gesturing with my hand. All of these commands over here that I could use, right? I just don't have to deal with this. And so LazyVim makes it really easy to add a little bit of extra configuration and pizzazz that's yours on top of the distro. I recommend keeping that minimal, but there are a few things that you're just gonna want. You're just gonna want, and LazyVim makes it easy to set that up. I think if you've been on Vim for a while, or NeoVim, and you've got your own config that you're happy with, you're using it for this IDE type stuff. You're writing software. NeoVim distributions are fantastic. They save you a ton of time, and I highly, highly recommend it. I also highly recommend sticking with your defaults as much as possible to just save you that time and headache of managing config. Offload that management to things like Omarchi, to things like LazyVim as a distribution, and don't worry so much about that kind of stuff, it frees up your time and energy to work on actually building things. The last caveat is this, if you love tinkering with your configs, if that's a hobby for you, then keep doing what you're doing, man, like have fun. And that's all there is to it. Setting up a NeoVim distribution is extremely easy on purpose, and I highly recommend you give it a shot. It could be that your particular NeoVim setup is so unique to you that this just isn't gonna work, and if so, Hats off to you for having such a cool setup that you've got going on. But if you're like a lot of people and you just want NeoVim to act a little bit more IDE-like, to have that those modern creature comforts of software development, NeoVim distributions get you like 99% of the way there and you can add on your add-ons as you go. Anyways, if this was helpful or interesting to you, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you around next time. I will be streaming Thursdays, usually 6 to 8, but I may start messing with 4 to 6. We'll see. Catch you later.